Hate to break it to you, bud, but I am never going to download your stupid app. It's never going to happen, never going to install it. And in fact, even if I wanted to, which I don't, I couldn't install it anyway. Uh, I, you know, I view myself as somewhat of an activist. I'm an activist. <laughs> I, I, I'm a big fan of civil disobedience. And my civil disobedience now is fighting against cell phones. Whenever someone wants me to use the cell phone, I'm just not going to do it. Okay. Now I'm not doing it for me. I'm actually, I actually am doing it for you. Okay. I'll let me explain about that. That's, that, that sounds kind of, I don't know, masturbatory to say all that. I'm, I'm kind of kidding, but I'm kind of not because the worrisome thing about cell phones is the fact that cell phones have gone from being some tool, niche tool used by businessmen to something that, something that's all over the place. But then they have gone from being a, a common thing to something that is becoming mandatory. Not just mandatory to have a cell phone, but it's becoming mandatory to use a cell phone for increasingly mundane things. And this is something that is now touching pretty much everyone in the world, right? So um, I'll go. We can go ahead and give the the melodramatic. Uh, uh, I don't know examples of you know there are some countries. Let's say Australia. I, I don't know if they actually succeeded in rolling this out, but Australia was trying to get their people to use this app and enforcing this app on people. Um, to uh, take pictures of themselves at random intervals to send to the government so that they, they know that they're being good boys and they're not leaving their house, right? They're, they're, they're still on that two weeks to stop the spread thing. I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, so cell phones are already being used for the most absurd and obscene monitoring of people and control of people. And it might not be happening, happening where you are. I don't know if it actually, uh, maybe that app crashed and burned in Australia. Hopefully people didn't uh, you know, give into it or hopefully it failed in some way. But, um, you know, a, a lot of people, uh, the, the issue is even on basic accounts on the internet, cell phone numbers are now required for basically everything under the auspices of security, nonetheless, nonetheless, which is kind of absurd. Um, because, you know, not back in the day, this is kind of hard for people to understand. Uh, if you're young back in the day, if you wanted to log on to a site on the internet, you would have to give a username and then you'd have to give this thing, oh shoot, what was it called? Um, you'd have to give this thing called a password, okay? So what a password is, it's a word you give to someone to let you pass, right? So you would give the username and the password and that will log you into the, the account. Now that does not happen anymore because password, I don't know why people have passwords anymore. Uh, because what you do now is um, you, you put in your username and password, then you get a, you get a call on your, your cell phone, you have to register your cell phone number and you have to get a, a text or a call or something like that. Then you get an email. Then maybe you even get an OTP aside from the, the text from your, that's actually how YouTube is. I have to get like, YouTube has, I have to put in my password. I have to do OTP. I have to uh, get a text message or a call and then they still send me emails. So, I mean, it's, it's just freaking crazy. But that's how it is nowadays. And, you know, you might say, oh, that's for my security. Oh, I'm a, I'm a security professional. And, you know, I, I think it's very, OTP is, has really revolutionized the industry and blah, blah, blah. Listen, if you, wanna, if you want more security, get a better password. Stop using your freaking grandma's middle name. Um, like, get a randomly generated password or some scheme for, like, doing that. Anyway, um, the thing that annoys me is that it, when it comes to security, this is the most unsecure thing in the universe, okay? Because, look, companies get hacked every day of the year and what is now happening is that people just don't they don't just have accounts out there they now have accounts that have their cell phone numbers attached to them um they have email addresses attached to them uh so those two things those all three things are tethered um and additionally if it's something money related they will have like know your customer crap that is they will have literally home addresses they will have like pictures of people and stuff like this yada 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 they will have all the all of this kind of crap and that is not that's not security i'm sorry like get a better password and like deal without that like cell phones are not needed for this now i will say of course if you're dealing with otp uh i do not use cell phones for any one-time passwords you know the six digit things that's what one-time passwords otp is um you can do that on your computer i use pass otp for that it's like a command line utility i'm sure there are non-command line utilities if you if you want something like that, but you don't need a cell phone for that. Um, but I, I just find it very worrisome. There, there are, nowadays there are a lot of companies that put out apps. Like the only way to interact with the company is now by using only a cell phone. And in fact, in so many cases, it, it it's a company that for years and years had you could just access them online on a browser. 
But now they're saying, oh, this functionality, we will no longer, we, we're now just gonna have it only mobile. So for example, there's a bank uh, that I used to use um, that were, uh, you know, you could scan checks, you know, on your scanner, or you could even take a picture of them and upload them in your browser. But then they started saying, oh, you know what? We're gonna have that on the mobile app. They allowed that as a possibility. But then they were like, actually, if you wanna scan checks, you have to use the mobile app now. So now, if I wanna scan checks and send, you know, cash them into that bank, uh, I have to get an app on my phone, which means I have to be logged on to my bank account on, on my phone, which I think is like absolutely absurd. Like why would anyone, I don't know what you're thinking if you have like a banking app on your phone. Like that's just like, hey, could you please steal my money? Like that, that's basically what you're doing, especially if you're just like one pin number away from getting your money stolen. I'm just like, I, don't, I, can't, I can't conceive of that. But that is now required if you want to scan a check here. Or, you know, um, I was setting up uh, Starlink earlier. This is why I'm, I'm thinking about this. Uh, and Starlink requires you, if you want to change router settings or, or do all this other stuff, oh, no, 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 you can't get in a browser and go to the IP address of the router to adjust the settings. No, you got to have the app, okay? My cell service provider, if you want to activate a SIM card, they make you download their stupid app. Luckily, you can do it on another phone and then move the SIM card here. Um, so th that's something that's happening now where it used to be things that you could just do without worrying about them. You now have to have cell phone applications to do. In fact, there are many cases, um, actually, you know, I'm sorry, dozens of them are just flowing into my head right now. Like Zelle is another one. Like Zelle is kind of like, a, it's like PayPal, but better. It's like a bank to bank transfer uh, that you just need someone's email address to send them money if they're signed up for Zelle. Um, but the thing is they, um, the, the only way to set up Zelle is to have the cell phone application uh, and you can't like, you can't just do it on the desktop. You can't do it on their website. You, you have to use the cell phone application. And of course, in all of these cell phone apps, all of these corporate crap apps, you cannot just download the program. You can't just download the APK. You can't get them on f -Droid. All of them must be obtained from either the Google Play Store or the, the Apple Store. Um, because they, for whatever reason, they require Google dependencies, the, the Google services or stupid crap that they don't actually need, but the app requires it anyway. And they're not going to distribute an APK because they don't care about you. Um, so now in order to do these basic things, you have to use a cell phone, the physical device of a, as a cell phone, you have to use Google apps and you have to use these proprietary, all of these are proprietary programs, right? They're not going to show you the source code. So you, you have no clue what they're actually doing. Um, but all of these are, you know, th this is the, the issue with cell phones. It gets worse and worse and worse. And some, somewhere along the road, you got to just put your foot down. And I've put my foot down pretty early. Like I do not, again, I don't use Google services on my phone. I'm not going to, if an app requires it, uh, I will not do it. If Starlink, uh, listen, I love Starlink, how it's worked. I, I think it's working great. But if they say it is not mandatory, you have to use their app and you can't, um, you can't like uh, change router settings without that. And you know, in order to even use it, you have to be, and I'm sorry, I'm canceling because I, I'm putting my foot down in terms of I am not allowing cell phones uh, a greater share of my life. It, I mean, it's not, it's not really about me. It, again, it, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's for, you gotta think about, you gotta think about, you know, my children, uh, other people, uh, you know, what is the world going to be like for them if they have to like take pictures of themselves on their cell phone and send them to the government or corporation if they want to get onto their banking application. Okay. I don't want that. Okay. I want people to have access the custodianship, not just of their money, but really all the technology that they use and cell phones are be are a new way of tying your real life identity to accounts that don't need your real life identity. You don't need these digital services to be connected with, um, you know, with your cell phone number. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I hate, I hate cell phones. They don't just make you, uh, stupid and boring as a person. Um, they're, I don't know. It, they're part of the uh, very bad things are happening because of them. That's all I'm going to say. All right.